Anyway, we're going to watch this Wall Street Bets versus uh, Wall Street uh, Jubilee middle ground because I think it's going to be actually good. Why do you think it's, this is important, what's happening? There's an enormous sort of crowdsourced effort to uh, identify forms of corruption. I mean, this video is terrible because like both parties on this video, I just, I think are mega cringe. Like the Wall Street Bets Andes who like think that they're doing like revolutionary praxis are f***ing annoying. The Wall Street Andes who are like demons are also annoying as well. But the Wall Street Bets Andes at least are like more like common folk. So I guess I still end up siding with them a little bit, but let's, let's watch. I'm always curious how people buy into systems broadly, especially systems like Wall Street Bets, which is so based in things like racism and ableism. I love that the, the uh, black lady that works at Wall Street was like, man, Wall Street Bets is so ableist and so racist. It's like, dude, you literally work at Wall Street. Like, what the fuck are you saying? My name's Ben. I'm the proud owner of several shares of GameStop, and I'm hodling until the squeezes squoze. Oh, bro, if you're an adult, I oh, have God. invested in meme stock. Come forward if you agree. Things do trade on social sentiment now. If you got a couple couple bucks that you're willing to go broke on and, and watch it drive all the way down to zero, why not? You know, throw 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 the dice on a couple of these. Yes, it's gambling. As far as meme stocks, meme, meme stocks go, I'm drawn to nailing naked short sellers. That's my whole agenda. That's what I get annoyed by. Like this notion that. I mean, I don't know how the fuck this happened. There's like a justice slant associated with capital uh, ownership now, which I find particularly strange. Like I never really thought that it was going to last as long. Like it has holding power. I know anarchists on my timeline that are like, I'm hodling, I'm hodling, I'm hodling to the moon. I know a lot of anarchities that are supposedly leftists who are just like, we're actually taking down venture capital. Oh or not venture capital, hedge funds. Please. It's literally wealth redistribution. I don't know what the problem is. It's not. Like, it, like, it, it kind of isn't, though. It's just insane to me that for four decades, the SEC has failed to get control of naked short selling as an illegal practice. So yours is like a spite investment. I only have GameStop right now. It's a spite investment, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> People act as though, and I said this before, I said this when the when the when this whole thing first popped off like people act like this is all you know the average joe layman day trader pushing back against like the institutions and and actually fighting against hedge funds when in fact like what so other hedge funds bought into it all you're doing is is still you know pushing capital in the direction of one hedge fund over another and that hedge fund is probably short squeezing some other shit too so your hyper focus is on gme and amc great but ultimately you're you know, if you think that you're like taking down Wall Street, you're fucking wrong. It's fucking over Melvin Capital. That's the point. I mean, yeah, fuck Melvin Capital. Sure. On the forum, like there were individuals that were pulling out and saying because of this money that came into my world, I was able to pay for cancer treatment for my mother and things Love like that. that. Yeah. But what about the people who are dying of like crazy losses? I feel like for every me millionaire that Wall Street Bets makes. I'm not talking about even millionaires though, just. But it's so. non-verified, non-backed up information. There's so, I mean, granted, Reddit has their thumbs up platform and the anonymity that they provide their users does provide a level of access. And okay. Every Every time a Wall Street person opens their mouth, I lose it though. And I immediately find myself firmly planted on the Wall Street bet side because it's like, it's purely based on speculation, but I mean, it's just gambling. It's the difference between fucking playing uh, the roulette table versus blackjack. Guy on Wall Street saying, what about all the people that are going bankrupt? The fuck do you mean, dude? You're on Wall Street. What are you talking about? Are they unaware? I, I feel like there's so much. This reminds me of the, the execution uh, squad strategy. Like there's so much division of labor and, and uh, these sorts of fields on like Wall Street that like people don't recognize the impact that their immediate actions are having on people's lives. And what I mean by that is like in an execution squad, you don't know who has blanks and who has the actual bullets in order to not feel like you murdered someone directly, right? So it's kind of like that where where that dude like literally does not comprehend that what he does for the most part is still bankrupting people on a daily basis. Oregon private equity deal teams are generally so detached from operations that we just see most people's wage expenses on a balance sheet. And the most interaction we have with a company is a board meeting. There's an entirely different operations team. 
but you're still receiving information that has not been verified, that doesn't necessarily so have the does analytics Web to back it up. So why does WebMD exist then? Web you're not MD. going to a doctor, you're not verifying anything right now, but you're going and doing your own due diligence on why you might be sick or how you're feeling. Oh, okay, that was a terrible argument, dude. What the fuck? WebMD is not a good substitute for doctors. WebMD is terrible, dude. What the fuck? What? Number one, this whole GameStop thing started because of an illegal practice called naked short selling. I would say it's also a movement of crowdsourcing this enormous amount of uh, investment knowledge and distributing it to an enormous pool of there's 10 million no, subscribers now. Do you think the 10 million actually get that knowledge? Uh, no, not all of them, but um, I don't think 1% of them do. That, that's kind of my whole thing. Oh, okay. Like, mm. I believe Wall Street bets is a movement kind of like Nazism and communism and all these other bad things. Oh, good. I think it's oh, a wait, terrible movement. Are... Yeah. What the fuck? What? Bro, what did he just say, dude? What the fuck? That was a wild take. I'm not okay with the fact that the main losers aren't the guys you're trying to like screw out of this like terrible, terrible, unethical well, practices. Well, Melvin Capital lost what? But they immediately got bailed out by dollars. Citadel. And how many more giant conglomerate firms made bazillions of dollars while my good friends lost a thousand bucks here, ten thousand dollars here? So I guess on a scale though, so you have this forum where people go around and pitch around decent ideas, whether great due diligence or absolutely none was done. And then you have, you, know, you remember a couple years ago, Wells Fargo creating the fake bank accounts? Like terrible. Oh, right. Yeah. Why, why is there so much laser focus on accountability on this ragtag crew of forums For sure. and absolutely nothing changed on the Wells Fargo I'm there with you. Yo, these guys are so right, though. Dude, that's the best part about Wall Street Pets is like, yeah, they're annoying. Yeah, they fucking like worship Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, they low key are like, they would love to be like institutional traders, right? Uh, if they had the opportunity for the most part. But my God, are they so correct whenever it comes to like the lack of regulation involved in big banks? They're so right. They literally are 100% on the money completely correct it, yeah they are the same type of people chatter is correct they are the same type of people they just didn't go to ivy leagues okay that's it that's the difference they didn't go to fucking stanford or columbia or you know wharton so they are just like they're doing that from like a state school uh, education level which is still fine but uh that's the big difference but if you look at what's going so on, the amount stream. of risk that we have created just by these movements and allowing this type of influence to be made within our, our financial space, we don't even understand the repercussions of that. But, but at the end of the day, I think the underlying thing is earnings per share, revenue, how much money you can make, and come hell or high water, that's the game of the capitalistic free market systems. But if it, if it leads to the downfall and bankruptcy of companies or institutional investors and companies, falling out, going into bankruptcy. What type of instability does that create? Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Fuck you. Oh my God, dude. Oh yeah, good luck. Good luck getting the average Joe on your side with the point that you're making when like literally most average Joes would look at that and be like, fuck yeah, dude. You think this system has been kind to the average American, to the fucking layman? that like only is loosely tied to the to the stock market by their 401ks motherfucker there is no shot you're like they're gonna start i'm salivating now like i said every time the wall street guy opens his mouth i'm like oh great yeah fully on board with the wall street beds to the moon fucking keep hodling uh amc baby oh what kind of instability will you create by these like by trying to hurt these too big to fail uh institutions that we've literally created that play the fucking that design the rules of the game so they can change it in every way they can. Of course, then you legitimize the talking point from the other side, which is like, we are trying to disrupt the system. Are you actually concerned that could happen and that would be catastrophic for the average American? No, not for the average American, but I think the average American who is taking their stimulus package and investing it mm. into We're GameStop. And okay, that's two separate things. That's bullshit. No, he straight up went back on his take. No, the original fucking admission was it's going to ruin like these big, uh, you know, these these uh, institutional traders like, you know, hedge funds or whatever. And that's going to disrupt the system because the system is like literally built by those uh, hedge funds and the system is literally built by Wall Street. And then as soon as he turned around, he's like, do you think that's actually going to happen? He's like, oh, uh, no, it's the average American I care about that's uh, spending their stimulus package, uh, you know, uh, on on holding and going to the moon. Why did you just do that? 
Why don't you just say it with your chest and be like, yeah, I think that these uh, big, big, uh, uh, you know, hedge funds and whatnot, if they were to be, if they were to be tampered with or tackled because of the way that the market is designed, it would hurt the entire economy. But he didn't even have the gall to say that because the people across from him are going to be like, okay, well, even when the market's doing well, my life is still shit. My life is still dog shit. I don't get nothing out of this. So fuck it. Bro, this argument literally is like, we don't want poor people to invest. So I kind of understand why the fuck Wall Street Bets feels the way that they do. Like those people feel the way that they do when they see like hoity-toity rich assholes. Every argument from institutional traders goes back to, you don't know any better. Let us handle it. Like we'll lose your money for you. You're not allowed to lose it on your own. We'll lose it for you and we'll charge you fucking pretty penny while we do it. It's so wild. It's so condescending. It's so silly. It makes me mad. Like I, I do understand when poor people invest, it throws off our investment algorithms. Please stop. You're not supposed to play the game the way like that. You're not supposed to play it like that. I feel like if you learned more, you would be on the side of the Reddit or hedge fund saboteurs. No, because they're not like... <sighs> Because ultimately, it is not like any sort of legitimate sabotage, with the exception of like Melvin, okay? I do know the details. This is kind of like the argument uh, that uh, neoliberal uh, uh, members of a marginalized community make when they're like, oh, well, now there's like one rich black person, and that's how we're going to defeat systemic racism. Do you understand? That's not how you defeat the system. Uh, you might feel like uh, excited to be able to take down Melvin Capital, which I'm fully on board with, uh, you know, go off kings and queens, you know, making like 11 Redditors uh, millionaires or making a thousand Redditors millionaires while I, I don't know, like a million more lose a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars here or there while hedge funds are still making more money off of uh, these sorts of uh, moves. Other hedge funds, maybe not Melvin Capital, but others is, is not actually defeating the system. All investors should have access to the same type of tools and resources. <laughs> I wish I had the same information as those Congress people who went and sold all their stocks right before Trump announced the pandemic <laughs> to the public. Like, I can't hate on this guy. He's right. They might be annoying, but the Wall Street Bets guys, in a lot of instances, whenever they criticize Wall Street, are right, because Wall Street is demons, dude. They're fucking doing demon shit out there. I don't think the solution here is going to actually uh, be trying to become a millionaire on your own uh, through the same vehicle or through the same institutions while maybe taking down one hedge fund, potentially. Politics, political structure, uh, I mean, level of information based upon national security, kind of hard to exchange when you're working within a government agency. If they made those moves, we can talk about the ethics of that later. Yeah, blind trust don't exist. It literally doesn't exist, guys. There is no way that politicians could like, uh, I don't know, have no say over what their money, what kind of money moves are made uh, while they're in the process of, of uh, doing politics and having access to information that is literally not available to the public, which is literally insider trading. Like what they are doing is literally unethical and should be illegal. But unfortunately, there is laws against it being illegal. This dude is Thanks, crazy, Roger. dude. I wholeheartedly believe in reality. We live in a plutocracy right now. The government is controlled for and manipulated and used for by the wealthy. So I think there is a level of green privilege and plutocracy and with having lots of money and power, there is certain information that's streamlined to people in higher positions than your average person. Therefore, all of the tools aren't Given, being given to everyone equally on a playing field. When it comes to the information, the analytics, and the actual t statistics that are out there and available, they are available to the general public. Well, you say that, but then Enron would literally make calls to Wall Street and tell them to do blackouts in California, and they would manipulate the stock price, and then they would short it and buy it when it would dump it, when it would tank and go up. How can you sit there and go, that's an equal level of information being given to everyone? I should have access is that, to is that, that information? But is that information or ethics? Oh my God, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, you're getting rolled. You're getting rolled by a dude who learned talking points from a Reddit thread. Just, just hang it up. Just hang it up. Oh, is that ethics or information? Like, what are you talking about? It's the ethics of information distribution. 
Lost to a Redditor, by the way. Fucking absolutely rolled by a Redditor. You hate to see it, but also you love to see it. But at the end of the day, it also matters about the timeline. Mm -hmm. If I take the time to do the due diligence, even though he has all that information, and it's the difference between getting the proper cancer treatment two weeks down the road or immediately, Thank that's you. vital information that that person needed to know in order to get the treatment. Exactly. Trading is so you're highlighting that a subject matter expert should realistically have more access to the information in a more time efficient manner than a layman. Well, it's not time efficient. I, they just took the time to do it. I see the I see what how you're I see how you're positioning that. What? The argument isn't about like whether fucking Congress persons should have information that's not privy to the public, dude. And the argument is literally acting on that information. What the fuck is he saying right now? That is not like okay, the other dude got rolled because the other dude or seemingly or functionally is getting rolled because like I think he's just arguing on talking points that he learned off of Reddit whereas if he had like a, the groundwork and, the, and, a, and a solid foundation to launch these arguments off of he could just literally turn around and be like well what you're saying is ridiculous we're not having a conversation about whether fucking politicians should know things that the public doesn't have uh, knowledge to what we're saying is politicians should be able to shouldn't be able to act on said information by enriching themselves no one is saying that like uh there shouldn't be classified information within like levels of government or i don't know in in uh certain organizations but at the end of the day if you're someone that has enough knowledge to utilize the information just as efficiently why do i have to wait because you have a certification or because you have a doctorate or because you have higher education for the same reason you can't fly a plane you're not qualified you didn't do the work you're not Oh my God, dude. It's not the fucking same, dude. Fine, but would you agree there's very terrible pilots and there's very good pilots? Of course there are, but they're all qualified. So they're all, all certified and they've all done the work to get there. Yeah, that's precisely why uh, Wall Street never fails. If pilots just kept exploding every plane like once every four fucking years, no one would be flying, okay? Like absolutely no one would be flying on planes. Every four to five years, planes just explode like it's not even a roll of the dice you know that like you don't know exactly when it's gonna happen every four to five fucking years you're just traveling all the time back and forth you're on a plane and then every four to five years every plane just blows up no one would be flying in planes anymore or rather we would just say what the fuck we no, need to no, fix no, the situation so this guy making a one-to-one -one comparison between like uh, institutional traders versus pilots is psychotic. Also, the irony of like comparing something as highly, like as fucking specific as like flying a plane with trading or playing a role in like, uh, uh, whether it's like the analytics side or whatnot on like uh, at, a, at, a, at a institutional trader is insane. Damn. Murat said... Planes don't crash because they're designed to not crash. It's not just because the pilots are good, but also because the planes are designed not to crash. Whereas the markets crash because that's a part of its design. He's right. I don't agree that everyone should have the same tools. Um, as someone who's like traded on a lot of those platforms, I like I don't think the average investor like needs to be making million dollar pars deals. And like if that platform is free, like people can do that. There's a degree of responsibility that we, being what? a little bit more informed, having more insight into the process, should take to protect our fellow man who doesn't have that same level of information. That's bro, they're literally fighting for their lives over here. Okay. In a way, like, it does threaten their existence. If, like, uh, if retail traders can, like, move money uh, and, and easily trade like uh, institutions do, then, like, like, why would day traders just go and, and uh, give their money to someone else who's like, no, 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 I got this, bro, I swear. Literally saying that they should be able to make millions of dollars while others can't for reason, no reason other than the fact that they participate in the exact same tactics as r slash Wall Street bets. Yes, but they also got an education and a certification to be able to do so. That's it. They're just ahead of the game because they went to the right school and they got the right certification and worked through the ranks. So that's why they have the capability of making these like risky trades or at least leveraging it with like um, or, or hedging it with like uh, less risky uh, trades as well on top of the risky ones, which they certainly still do. I know people personally, like my family has lost quite a bit of money because of barbershop information. Not Damn, bro. It seems like they don't fucking value your opinion. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's like, sorry, you need to pay 5% for me to be able to give you financial advice. So uh, I currently have no fiduciary responsibility to tell you where you can and can't fucking invest your money. So yeah, go, go off the barbershop information. Like, why didn't you stop them then, dude?
not care about who gets hurt than a lot of people who don't have the same privilege of information and knowledge. They're coming across like they want to gatekeep who gets to manage the money, which is the truth. They do want that. And they're saying like, oh, it's really risky. When in fact, like what they do is really fucking risky as well, which is why I have the consistent position that it, it's all gambling. One yeah, is like a streamer that's uh, getting get backed by the actual house to gamble well. and then their losses are covered. And the other is gambling with their own money and their losses are certainly not covered. So the streamer gambler is like, come on, let me just keep gambling. You know, let me gamble with your money too and I'll give you the fucking winnings. But if I lose it, it's whatever. Dog, it's cringe when you call investing gambling. It's literally gambling. Investing is gambling. There are fundamentals that play into the gamble but investing is literally gambling you can say no it's not it's straight up gambling long-term investing is only gambling on society continuing yes no i agree i agree with that but it's a it's a bit of a modern bailey for people to consistently talk about like uh investing as though you are just putting money in a in a like money mutual fund or some shit like y y that's not what we're talking about here a lot of people make it seem as though like very low risk gambles or very low risk, like long-term uh, investment strategies are the same as like uh, what a lot of these corporations engage in and what the Wall Street Bets guys engage in as well. I mean, dude, look at GME screaming about fundamentals all day, every day still doesn't change the, the reality that like, you know, GME stock is still significantly overvalued I I with respect to what uh, people thought uh, the market was going to uh, consider it as. Why? Because people are fucking uh, pumping money into it. So what's up? The damage done to hedge funds by Wall Street bets was deserved. You know, there have been a lot of celebrities who have chimed in on uh, months, the GameStop and AMC short squeezes. And uh, one of them uh, struck a chord with me, which was uh, one of the Shark Tank guys, Kevin O'Leary. He said, if you're stupid enough to short a stock over 100%, then you deserve whatever happens to you. I am delighted to see them uh, pay financially for, um, for playing dirty in the most important game in the universe, which is... Uh, the game of uh, American capitalism. He's Toxic right. Fair enough. I like this guy. <laughs> I, I think that there's about 10 million Redditors who are going to hang on to this forever. And a lot of us are motivated by the grudge we still feel from the lack of justice during the 08 uh, uh, fiasco, let's call it. Yeah, like um, one guy went to jail after the collusion that led to uh, the mortgage-backed security crisis. Dude, he's so right, dude. He's right. That what they were doing at every point along the way was gonna to lead to a global financial crisis and deaths of poverty. But if you could prove that, I would say they would be guilty of mass murder. I don't think people care. But essentially, how many people still care about that issue right. today? What Wall Street- What? Dude, dude, these guys suck, dude. How many people still care about that, dude? Come on. What? I don't know. I, I think a lot of people do, man. That's kind of fucked up. Come on, bro. It happened in like 2008. This is a long time ago, bro. Come on. It's been... What that Wall Street investor is doing is uh, it happened a long time ago method where you say something doesn't matter if it happened a long time ago. Dude, imagine saying that to like a group of people who entered the workforce after it happened, either immediately after or a couple years after. Like those guys are old enough to have suffered the consequences of like being a part of the workforce in the post 2008 like market crash. Even that alone is just so out of touch and so stupid. Come on, nobody cares, bro. What the fuck? Motherfucker should have turned around and been like, you know, something happened on uh, the 11th of September a long time ago. Do you not care about that? <laughs> like, what was that? I don't even, I can't even remember. What was that? This was an illustration of some of the blind spots and it has to mobilize into a more social event in terms of representatives and leaders that say, you know what, there are some things that the financial institutions have a blind spot on and we have to do some reforms. But realistically, is there's a staying power. I guarantee you that I personally have the power to hold a grudge for the rest of my life. I respect that. I feel that. I'm right there with you. I feel that. And I believe there's about 10 million Redditors who equally are going to hold this grudge, maybe not forever. I but think for you're a very too smart. I think you're too smart and too engaged. You're going to have to take that grudge and mobilize it into actual social change. And that comes from leadership. Right. And that comes from new elected officials. So, fucking right. Uh, I wish they would, though, but I don't think it's happening. And I, yeah, Wall Street Bets isn't about social change. I mean, it's not. It's not supposed to be. I don't really care that it isn't either. Like, 
But when I call it out, people get mad at me.